Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan, this is Auto Detour, and behind me here I have Grandpa Truck. So this is this is my 2003 Ford F-150. It's got a stock 5.4 liter, stock 4R70W transmission. The only thing not stock about it is that it's got a 76 millimeter turbo under the hood. If you are new to the channel, a few videos ago when we were running about nine PSI, we went out and tested the zero to 60 time on Gramps and we were just not quite able to break the five second zero to 60. I think we ended up at 5.1. So our goal for today <laughs> is to get this big, heavy four wheel drive super crew uh, down into the fours for the zero to 60 time. So should be fun. Uh, we are at 12 PSI now, so hopefully that will do the trick. With that being said, I think we need to do a little bit of weight reduction. <laughs> race weight um, we are headed out to our favorite undisclosed location uh, we will be using the V box again here to be measuring our 0 to 60 times it's about 39 degrees out right now we do have a full tank of gas which will not help us we were about half a tank when we ran the 5.1 so that's not ideal hopefully by chucking out all the car seats and that bed mat I have in there is actually a the rubber flooring from a gym. So it's about a half inch thick rubber, so it is not light. So we'll probably be pretty similar to where we were at for the last run. I would guess that half a tank is probably about 60 pounds of fuel. So anyway, as I mentioned, it is a stock 5.4 liter. I said we only put a turbo on it, but that's not completely accurate. We had to, we upgraded the fuel system. So it has like a, it has a Walbro fuel pump in-tank fuel pump and upgraded injectors to support the fuel but other than that the engine is completely stock and so i've been very impressed with what the truck has been able to take as far as abuse and we're running 12 psi now and hasn't missed a beat so i'm really excited to get out here and see what it'll do zero to 60 time another difference uh, right now is the the exhaust is a little bit different last time we ran we just had a wide open downpipe now uh, I have the sleeper exhaust installed where that, that wide open downpipe doesn't open up uh, until we get into boost. So that may affect spool time just a little bit. Uh, we'll find out here when we see the numbers. All right, so we're gonna try our first run in two wheel drive here, see if we can get any traction. I'm gonna stuff you up here by the speedometer so you can see what's going on. All right, three, two, one. tire spin there I don't think two-wheel drive is gonna cut it uh, uh, but we did manage to hit I don't know if you can see that we hit 5.5 0 to 60 so that's pretty good uh, so that's looking pretty promising for hopefully getting into the fours here all right so we're gonna just go ahead and flip it into four-wheel drive this time just because I think that's gonna give us the best result three two one Point two. We're so close. All right, here we go. Third try. That was a good one. 
5.0 come on 5.0 what do we gotta do to get that extra tenth of a second? Let's go do it again. And that was uh, zero to a hundred in twelve point seven on that one, <laughs> which is which is not too shabby. All right, here we go again. Four wheel drive, boosted launch as much as I can with the stock stall. again all right last try four point eight seconds oh man Am I reading that right? 4.8 seconds. We did it. We did it. Stock 5,000 pound truck. 4.8 seconds. I'm gonna let that settle in for just a second. <laughs> really gotta figure out what's going on with that one two shift. It's like we're hitting rev limit or something in it it's like a backfire when we uh shift from one to one to two gotta get that sorted out i can feel that that's slowing us down um so i, I have a i have a feeling it'll be a little bit faster if we uh if we get that sorted out so i'll have to talk to casey see what we can do to maybe get the shift point and the rev limiter moved a little bit further apart i can't really tell what rpm is doing it at but we'll get that sorted out Oh, tell me what you guys think. Did you think we were gonna get there? 12 PSI, let's see what max was. 12.3, so we maxed at 12.3 on that run. And in case you're curious, yes, I did move the boost cut up to 12.5, uh, just so we didn't hit boost cut on these runs. Uh, it is still 38 degrees out, but we did it. We did it, I'll see you guys back at the house. Well guys, there you have it. 4.8 seconds, zero to 60 on a boosted stock Supergru four wheel drive F-150. <laughs> I'm still kind of speechless that we got into the fours, which is insane. Maybe I should have taken the running boards off. That might've helped. <laughs> nah. Anyway, tell me what you guys thought about that. Uh, did you think we were gonna do it, get into the fours? Uh, really, really insane. Uh, we hit a new high today too, 12.3 PSI. Um, that's no joke. Seems I have a bit of a mess to clean up over here though, but that is dad life. So I think that's about the best we're gonna do with the stock drivetrain, at least until we turn up the boost some more. As many of you may know, I am building another motor on the side and it should be getting finished up in the machine shop here any day. And then we gotta sort out some heads for it. We're shooting for a thousand plus horsepower on the new build and it's gonna go in the truck looking just like this. So if you can imagine a sleeper F-150 with over a thousand horsepower, but you have to believe that we're not gonna do it with this little, little turbo, the 76 millimeter. Uh, we're gonna have to probably upgrade turbo, probably exhaust. Injectors for sure. We only got 60 pound injectors there because I'm pretty sure we're gonna run E85 on the new motor. So we're gonna have to do a new fuel system, uh, new fuel pumps, all the works. So uh, if this build series is interesting to you guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.